this segment right here on the jump, it was like we we can see the date. It was last year, and I I, rem I remember looking at this segment and I, I you know I had a comment about I had my feelings about the segment. It's about Kevin Durant came out and said that Kyrie Irving had a better skill set than Allen Iverson. That essentially he was better than Allen Iverson. Now I disagree on many levels. The first thing is Kyrie Irving before LeBron James got there, he had never been to the playoffs, and they were so bad that they were in the lottery three of those years, and two of those years they got the number one pick. So, I'm going to say this. Allen Iverson had carried a team on his back to the finals. The worst team in NBA history that went to the finals was that 2000, 2001, you know, 76ers team. You know, it had Eric Snow, Derek McKee, George Lentz, Matumbo, uh, uh, Hill, it had who else? Who else was on that team? Um, a lot of guys. Uh, a lot of guys was on that team. A lot of you know secondary players. A lot of third third uh, string type players. A lot of bench players. Did they have some talent? Yeah, Matumbo. He 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 ended up going to the Hall of Fame. But Matumbo went to the Hall of Fame mostly off his defense. He was a tremendous defensive player, Matumbo. But that was the worst team ever, man. And I remember that year, Allen Iverson was the league MVP. Uh, they went through that Indiana Pacers team, was which was a, a pretty good team. Had Jermaine O'Neal, Jalen Rose, uh, Reggie Miller. Uh, it had, I think, Derek McKee, not Aaron McKee, but Derek McKee. And you know what I'm saying? They had some pretty good players on there. They had Al Harrington. Um, it had some pretty good players on there. They they faced um, the Milwaukee Bucks. They faced, uh, I believe, yeah, Ray Allen was on that team. Sam Cassell, Rayford Austin. Everybody know him as Skip to Malou. Off those N one tapes, but Ray for Austin. Uh, who else they had on that team? They had um, they had uh, my guy Michael Red on that team. So they had a pretty good team. Then they fight. They faced Toronto, and Toronto had Vince Carter. That's when Vince Carter was at the height of his powers. And you know, Allen Iverson to me, when you say somebody's skill set is better than another guy's skill set, but the other guy didn't have more success. I'm I'm, I'm saying this. Allen Iverson never played with a number one. Or number two. Kyrie Irving had the benefit of playing with a number one, a legit number one in LeBron James, a transcendent player in LeBron James when he had his success. He did not carry that Cavs team to a NBA Finals. Now, that 2007 Cavs team is kind of close as one of the worst teams that was ever drilled to the Finals by LeBron. But I'm giving Allen Iverson the edge because Allen Iverson was much smaller than um, LeBron. You know, Allen Iverson, what, 5'11", 5'10", 160 pounds, soaking wet. LeBron James is 6'8", 6'9", 270. So, to me, Allen Iverson is the better of the two. Because if you can't, if your skills doesn't correlate into wins, then I can't say how, I can't say how Kyrie Irving was better than Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson had a higher degree of difficulty, very higher degree of difficulty, and played in the era when it was more physical. Don't play with my emotions. Like, well, this is kind of close. You know what I mean? Kyrie, I mean, he's got the handles. He finishes. I look at AI. I'm like, man, he's got great handles. He, I think like, this is kind of close. But, did but see, Byron Scott, no, it's not kind of close. Because, see, you talking about a guy, what a guy can do. Okay, it look, skill set is great. But if you can't turn that skill set into wins, then what are you really saying? Because, like I said, he only started, he had those same skill sets before LeBron James got there. They did not even go to the, he couldn't even take them to the playoffs. They couldn't, even, he couldn't even take them to an eight seed. They were bad. They, in, in some of those years, they were terrible. So to say, to talk about a guy handles, yeah, okay, we can talk about handles and all that stuff. And, and I, Allen Iverson did not have bad handles himself. Allen Iverson had great handle. Allen Iverson had great speed. He could finish around the basket with both hands. So to say, talk about Kyrie handles and use that as your argument, no. Yeah, well, you kind of put it in perspective. You know, AI took a team to the finals, and they didn't have much. George Lynn. Don't <laughs> they, make me you know, cross this no, team. No, 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 no. no. hey, T-Mac, they Eric, didn't have they much. They were a great defensive team. Yeah, they, yes, they were. They were. That's true what T-Mac said. They were a great defensive team. But like Byron Scott said, you have to put things in perspective. You have to put it into perspective because if you don't, then you're going to totally miss the point. The point is this. Kyrie Irving had help when he finally started having success. He was a number two to a transcendent player. Allen Iverson didn't even have a 
I looked through that roster, I, I, and I did research on that. He didn't even have a player, not long, average 20 points. He didn't have a, a player on that team that averaged 15 points. He had a couple guys on that average 10, 11, 12. Look, he didn't have no help. He was the offense of weapon. When they went into the game, they went into the game to stop Allen Iverson. No one else. They didn't say, hey, we got to stop George Lynch. We got to stop Matumbo. We got to stop uh, Hill, Tyrone Hill. No, we have to stop Allen Iverson, and they, he still got the job done. He went to the NBA Finals, and they faced uh, the Los Angeles Lakers, and, you know, they faced them at the height of their powers. You know, Shaq and Kobe was the two best players, in my, in my opinion, in, in the league, especially in, the, in, their, in their positions, especially. And Shaquille O'Neal was dominant. They managed to win game one. Yeah, they, they, they lost four straight after that, but at least he won game one. And that's the reason why I'm giving him the edge over LeBron. He did win game one. LeBron got swept by the Spurs. Crazy. No, no, no. I'm talking about from an offensive standpoint, they did not have much but Allen. Eric Snow is the yeah, point Allen. guard. You know, and, 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 and again, like you said, Eric Snow is a great And both of these guys got to play with themselves and have the offense ran through them. Allen Iverson averaged more points than Kyrie Irving. Even when Kyrie Irving was by himself, I think he averaged 25. I, I believe at one point Allen Iverson um, averaged like 28. And Allen, Allen Iverson won a scoring title like three or four times. Defender. But he, he can't make a shot, yeah. you know. And then you got George Lynch. He can't make a shot. Well, it was a bunch of guys that they had that couldn't do a whole lot. Poor man and, listening and Tyrone, to this right now. AI. I think what KD said, I mean, there's obviously a lot of respect for, for Kyrie. And I have a lot of I think we all have a lot of respect yes. for Kyrie and his ability. I like KD, but KD, you got to do your research when you make this, when you make statements like that. Do your research. Because I understand you were young when Allen Iverson was doing this thing. You was real young, so maybe you don't either don't know or don't remember or didn't see it. I don't know what it I don't know what it is, but that man carried up the, the, to me the worst team in NBA history that ever went to the finals. Ever. To get to the basket, finish the way he does, his mad handles. But no. AI I, no. I mean we get we AI get good man, to man. live in the moment, you know. Yeah. I, I, don't I make me come across the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I would never okay, say thank okay, it's better than All right. AI. <laughs> Rachel Nichols love her some Allen Iverson man. Because you were building up like that. No, I competed against he this man. Like, wait a I know what he, what he did in this league when it was it was tougher. It was more physical. Oh, heck yeah. You put AI in that today's size? game. You put... Thank you, Tracy. It was more physical. You man, you put Adam Iris in today's game when you can't touch nobody. You you literally can't touch the person. You can't arm check or nothing like that. Or play physical on the ball defense by bumping guys and touching guys. Adam Iris is going to easily average... 35 points a game, man. Easily. It's going to be easy. The way he attacked the basket and went to the free throw line, easy. When you can't touch, come on, man. He averaged 30 back then. Right. Uh, imagine what he could do in this league today and if I, you can't touch him. And I, I mean, I will back Kyrie to anyone. I, I think so highly of him. You and I have gotten into arguments true. over Kyrie Irving right. where I... Like I said, Kyrie was a tremendous talent. He's a great... He turned into a great player. But like I said... He did not even take the Cavs to the to the uh, eight seed. You had now. Will he been able to grow into that? We don't know because LeBron got there. But Allen Iverson carried that team to the NBA Finals, and and that's my take on it. I got Allen Iverson. If you want to say uh, Kyrie Irving, you can't just say skill set because your skill set has to back up on what you do on the court. Now he didn't do anything significant until he didn't do anything at all until LeBron James got there. That's what I'm trying to say. But, you know, let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel, man. I love debates. I love, you know what I'm saying, debating different sports. I'm out.